Welcome everybody to March of the Living. I am your host Falcon. This right here is the brand new expansion titled The Three of Us. Now this is going to be much of a bit of a surprise to me as I'm pretty sure it will be for you guys as well. I actually got an email today letting me know about this expansion which comes out on the 18th on Steam so a little bit of a heads up. I'm recording this on the 16th so you might be able to see this video on the 17th assuming I get um it rendered out, edited, uploaded, etc, etc. So this should give you like at least a day previews worth of what the new expansion holds. Now, what I read from the email itself, we're looking at 35,000 words worth of new events, which is actually really impressive to me. Um, and I'm really excited about that the most because when it comes to games like FTL and March of the Living, they're really fun titles. However, once you know the events pretty well, you can kind of steer them into your favor. Now, mind you, RNG is still a big factor in these games, but if you kind of know how to steer the events to some degree, it'll definitely make things easier for you. So 35,000 words worth of new events sounds really impressive to me. They've added three unique new characters as well with their own storyline with multiple endings based on the choices you make. There's also a couple of new weapons. I'm not entirely sure about zombies, any of them being new, but that's all I do know for now and I'm excited about this so let's get into the game as soon as possible here. Michael worked a typical 9 to 5 job in the insurance industry. He lived with his wife, Jenny, in a nice two-bedroom apartment and liked to buy items from online stores on impulse. <laughs> Sounds like me, I do it a lot. But it's only if it's like a good deal. If it's a good deal, I'm always on it. His goal is to keep his family safe. Alright, you got it. So, I guess normal will do just because I'm not really too familiar with this. I would try hard, but, um, you know, brand new events, I might want to take it a bit slow so we don't die too fast here. Alright, here we go. Michael arrived home after a long day at work. He loosened his tie, slipped off his dress shoes, and put his keys on the granite counter as he walked towards the living room to watch TV and other... and order that crossbow online. A oh, good thing, because you're gonna need it later. Jenny was already sitting in the love seat, an open bottle of wine and a single glass of red wine in front of her. She turns towards him and he enters. What's this all about? Jenny handed him the glass of wine. I have a little surprise. Oh, Michael says. His curiosity peaked. He took a sip of the wine. Remember that discussion we had a while ago, when we talked about starting a family? Michael's attention was on the wine. Yeah, bud. He looked up from the glass of wine with white eyes. Well? Jenny started to say. Oh, oh my god, you're pregnant? Jenny smiled, unable to contain her enthusiasm. Yes. Oh god, what? I mean, I'm gonna be a father. You're, you're gonna be a mother. Yes. Michael leaned forward and kissed Jenny passionately. I love you. Jenny looked at Michael and smiled. I love you too. Michael picked up the glass and held it into the air as a toast. Here's to our new family. Seven months pass. A woman holding a microphone on TV stood in front of the police barricade. They're being called rotters. People who are bitten become infected and become animated after death. Seeking to infect others. Authorities are warning people to avoid any corpses they see. There was a furious knock on the door. Mark opens the door and rushes in. Did you guys hear? Yeah, that, he said, pointing at the TV. Jenny looked up. What do you mean? Did you hear something? Mark shook his head. I just know we've got to get out of here. And go where? Mark leaned against the wall, catching his breath. A friend of mine at the hospital said they're setting up a clean zone out of the edge of town. They'll take a pregnant woman. Michael looked at Jenny. What about you and me, Mark? They'll take us too if we're with her. The three fell silent for a moment, then Jenny spoke up. I want to go. I don't want to stay here. I can't deal with it if we're trapped here. Let's go then. A month passes in the camp. Michael returns with the daily rations. Old man Mills passed away today. Jenny looks up. He wasn't doing very well. Michael hands the packages out, giving the larger one to Jenny. Jenny tears into the food and eats hungrily. His family was upset that they didn't get their extra ration. They claim someone poisoned him. Mark sets his rations down on the table. I've heard lots of people grumbling that Jenny gets one of the larger, one of the large packages. Lots of jealousy. I overheard people saying she doesn't deserve the extra food. Jenny looks up from her food, her eyes brimming with tears. I know. I, I don't think I'm safe here anymore. Mark nods. People are frustrated. Someone might do something stupid. Michael sits down on the bed, so what do we do? Mark leans forward, I think I know a spot we can use to hide out. Michael frowns, will it be safe? Safer than here, probably. No people, no jealousy. Michael falls silent, watching Jenny for a moment. What do you want to do, dear? Jenny looks away for a moment, takes a breath, then looks at Michael. I want to leave. Michael nods and gets a determined look in his face. Okay, let's go. Mark looks around and says, not now, let's wait until night. Leave under the cover of darkness. Michael nods, okay, where's the safe place? Just a little bit out of town, a cabin, fully stocked with supplies, we can deliver the child. Okay, we leave at nightfall. And we have our quest marker over here, a little bit of introduction to these new characters for the DLC. 
let us find out about what they have equipped on them. So we have the crossbow with Michael. That's one of the new weapons right here. As you can see, it's got a crossbow bolt of four. What's really cool about this, bolts are automatically fetched back at the end of each battle. So you get four shots and then you're out, but at the next battle you'll get those four shots again. So it's kind of like a renewable source for sure, but you're only limited to four and I'm pretty sure probably like the reload time would be slow to make up for it. I have to imagine anyway. Plus, you can really shoot like once at a time because it's the crossbow. So, there you have that. Uh, also, a hammer. So, Jenny, what about you? You have an old revolver. And Mark, you have the old semi-automatic pistol and a police baton. Well, we're up. We're, we have 16 bullets, right? So, Mark, you will be our melee dude for now. Jenny, you'll be gun person. And then, um, obviously, Mike will be crossbow. Pistol expert, shotgun. Expert, intermediate, intermediate. Jenny, you're pregnant. Reduces speed, increases hunger 50% faster, increases fatigue 10% faster. <laughs> Not good. And Mark, intermediate, novice, and intermediate. Alrighty, cool. Um, before we head out, let's actually set these people up in proper positionings here. So Michael, let's get you kind of up front. Jenny behind him. And then Mark over here up front as well for some melee action going forward. Let's go ahead and put this in fast speed. Let's look at our map here. That's going to be our first destination right now going forward, and we have a city coming up as well, which is actually pretty ideal. So we can jump over here and then hit... Oh, we can't hit the city up from here. Well, we can. Uh, let's make a couple of small jumps first and see what we could find along the way. I'm really excited. Oh, the rain. I forget if the rain is good or not. I forget about that. Um, as you're walking along, a small horde of infected is beginning to collect behind you. You could deal with them now and maybe save yourself some trouble later, but it might be better to ignore them. Let's keep walking for now. You choose to ignore the infected for now and keep moving. A short time later, you hear a loud cracking sound and turn to see a tree that is about to fall over. You dive out of the way and the tree scratch crashes the ground. Amazingly, it, crash it crushes most of the infected, saving you the trouble. Hey, how about that? Like a random act of God, apparently. Uh, let's jump over here as well. I'm really excited about all the new events. Those are the ones I really want to get into as we go forward here. A small clump in the road in the distance catches your eye, so naturally you walk towards it. Getting closer, you can make out a rough shape. It appears to be a small child laying on her side in the middle of the road, with a dog lying beside. From this distance, you can't tell if she's alive or infected. Uh, call out to the child, throw a tiny rock from a safe distance to see if she's alive or infected, or leave. Let's throw a tiny rock. Uh, what do you mean a bad, uh, some un unhappy face? What do you mean it's a bad decision? I'm being safe because I have a pregnant wife, game. You pick up a small rock and throw it at a clump of clothing. The impact causes the child to rapidly awaken and bolt down the road, screaming. Hearing the screams, the dog growls angrily at you, barking madly. You take it as a sign of exodus ha with haste, having ruined your chance to communicate with them. That's unfortunate. Come on, dude. I just wanted to play it safe because I have a pregnant wife. You want me to go up to any sort of corpse on the road and just be like, Hey, how you doing there, huh? Oh, you're a zombie. How about that? It doesn't really sound like great planning to me, game. But that's just me. Alrighty, so over here we have one more jump into the city. Now mind you, all these decisions, like the happy faces and the, you know, unhappy faces, they're all gonna have to dictate on the ending itself. So there's multiple endings, obviously, and based on the decisions you make on the way over there, this will have an impact on that. Oh, Jenny rushes to the side of the road and falls on her hands and knees. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Are you going to be sick again? Like, it sounds like he's, like, you know, put out of his way. Like, you know, are you gonna be sick again? Let's go with the first one. Michael rushes over to Jenny's side. What's wrong? Jenny shakes her head. Morning. Sickness. She gags a bit. Michael laughs. Doesn't always happen in the morning, does it? Jenny gags some more. Funny guy. Stroke her hair, hold her hand, or stay nearby and keep an eye on her. Let's just go ahead and, um, hold her hand. Michael tries to comfort Jenny. The gagging sound can increases until her stomach empties out onto the grass. Some of it splatters and gets on Michael. Sorry, Jenny mutters, then spits out a mouthful of bile. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Why am I like the worst husband of all time? Jenny spits out one last time. Get me some water. Michael pulls a bottle of the supplies and hands it to her. Jenny takes a swallow, swishes it around, and spits it out. Ugh. Michael helps her to her feet. You okay to travel? Jenny nods. Yeah, let's get going. Alrighty. Um, as you can see, Jenny does get hungrier faster than my dudes, and also gets tired because of the pregnancy, too, so that is that. Um, luckily, we have a city coming up here pretty soon, and this is a place we could actually get some rest, assuming we could find a place to actually rest at. Um, you arrived in Home Garden. Cities are great to find supplies, but are also highly dangerous places, so be careful. Yeah, you're telling me. Okay, so... I think our biggest issue right now is food. We only have enough food for one more meal for everybody. So let's go to the grocery store. 
I'm not really crazy about much of these. 40 minutes for 42 chance of encounter is pretty high. So much, in fact, that I'd rather actually do 60 for 51, so we will. There's only like a, what, 9% or 8% increase? 9 maybe? I don't know. So... Yeah, of course. Of course. Now you're probably thinking, go for the 20, Falcon. Yeah, you're probably right about that. But the thing is, RNG will sometimes get you even to a 20. If it's gonna get you, it's gonna, it's gonna get you. There's no denying RNG. Now we have zombies on the left-hand side and also on the right-hand side. Never a really good thing for us. Uh, Michael, let's have you shoot a crossbow right here. Got him down. How many are we looking? We're looking at three behind and one more up front. So you know what that means? It means you reload. And Mark, you work your melee magic down here. Um, Jenny, no shooting from you right now. Just post up behind Hosbando. Ah, good. One hit kill, Mark. Very nice. Uh, Michael, are you reloaded? You are. 85% chance to hit, huh? Go for that one. Boom, got him. Uh, reload again. Remember, we have two shots and then no more shots. So, luckily for us, we have enough um, bolts left over to kill these two guys. So, Mark is going to be safe here as long as we reload in time. Uh, I think we should. Nice. And go ahead and reload one more time, my friend. Make it fast, make it snappy. Oh, good. Missed the last one, of course. <laughs> of course. Michael, swap over to Hammer. You and Mark. Just gangbang the fuck out of this dude. Boom! Alrighty, nice. Five food rations and 14 shotgun shells. Really good pickup here. Alrighty. Um, we'll get you guys some food here pretty soon. Jenny back over here. Mike. Back over here. And you over here. Now, Mike, let me get you back on your crossbow, my friend. And you gotta reload. Alrighty, pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and scavenge and we got... Well, let's do the, the police station for some weapons, hopefully. This isn't too bad. 40 minutes for 36? I'll take that one. Not too bad indeed. <laughs> as I mentioned, RNG, man. Alrighty, Mike. Let's get a kill over here as soon as possible. Got him. Three or four left over. Oh, shit, we have a couple of grabbers. Those worry me quite a bit. Should have probably gone after the grabbers first that I noticed them beforehand. Let's have you guys drop back here momentarily. Everybody drop back momentarily. You reload on the fly, too. Alrighty, you reloaded. Let's go after a grabber here, Mike. And Mark, you just post stop. Nice, good stuff. Reload again. For now, this is going to be the Michael show because um, it doesn't cost me any ammunition going forward. Bring him down. Nice. You have like one more shot? Yeah. So here's what we do. Uh, Mark, you work over this guy. And Michael, once you're ready, take out that guy. Oh, good. <laughs> Nothing like always missing the last shot, huh? It's becoming almost comical now. Go melee, Michael. Mark, give me a hand. You got the police baton anyway. I got a hammer. Hammer him down! Ten shotgun shells, ten rifle bullets, and an axe. Oh, good. That's going to be an upgrade for Michael easily. Well, actually, might do it for Mark. Uh, five damage and attack delayed negative ten. And five percent chance hit modifier. More damage. Um, it's going to be definitely a slower attack. Make you tired as well. But the damage and the modifier is relatively equal. What about Michael here? What do you have? You have the hammer, which is 6, negative 5, and 10 attack delay. Not good, huh? I, I think the axe will be worth it as long as it hits with that damage increase. So um, let's give this over to Marky Mark over here. Such a good vibration. Boom, 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 boom. Such a, okay, and let's give the police baton over to... I really don't want to get Jenny involved with any melee combat. I really don't want to do that, so I'd rather give the police baton to Michael whenever he has to go into uh, melee combat. For now, let's go ahead and reload you guys, and let's see, scavenge about. What do we got? Hospital, drugstore, and apartments. Let's go and try to find some medicine for the future. So hospital... I don't think it's too important right now, so let's just do 20 minutes for 22%. Knowing my luck, though, we're 2 for 2 so far in assaults. Hey! But then again, we took a small chance, so we got no reward. No risk, no reward, as they say. Drugstore, let's go with 40 minutes at 31%. Come on, RNG, give me a little bit of a good row here, huh? Okay. Hey, that's an amazing amount of food, I'm going to say. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, uh, you guys are hungry, aren't you? I know, I'll feed you soon. Let me just get through one more area, and we're good to go, guys. Just give me one more. Let's try 31 again. Come on, RNG! Do me right, baby. 
Alrighty. Rifle bullets, too. Hey, as long as we get a rifle, I think we'll be really good. Portable radio. <laughs> the last thing most people ever heard on radio is, Grr, arg, help! <laughs> That's cool. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and um, I'll rest first and then we'll feed you guys. How about that? I know, you probably won't like it too much, but we gotta get some rest first before we hit the road. Oh, of course, zombie attack before we even get to do that. Uh, five zombies. Now, if you're wondering, the negative effect of not sleeping and hunger is going to be they take um, negative um, buffs to their chance to hit, attack speed, etc., etc. You can see that right here in the left corner there. Um, alrighty, let's start off with Michael. 75% uh, chance to hit, huh, Mike? Let's get you a bit close. Oh, shit! Let's go after the ones up front first, I'm going to say. Um, and you might want to start moving through here soon, babe. Alrighty, homeboy here is down. You know what, Mark? I'm going to trust you enough to go after this guy on your own with the axe. Jenny, you just keep moving. Um, you reload. Might want to move as well as you reload, Mike, I guess. Okay, good to go. Let's get a shot off on homeboy up here. Oh, good, you missed. Very ideal. Very ideal situation for Michael to miss that. Not gonna go into melee just yet, but soon. All right, you got that one, Mike. Can you get one more shot? Can you get one more kill for me? And then we go over to Mark with the axe with the last guy. That's all you gotta do for me, dog. Got him. Let's go in. Huh? Grappled, but we killed him in time. Holy shit! Oh my god! Good God Almighty! Give me a rifle, and I'll be set for another crossbow. <gasps> Yes! Oh man, things have just switched for the good really, really early on. Okay. Michael, how about you give this crossbow over to your bro? Actually, what if we give that to Jenny? I mean, she's not going to be melee attacking, so she might as well just do some range attacks, right? Yeah. Crossbow to Jenny. I like it. Dude, we got a renewable source of, like, you know, shots here after every battle. I mean, of course, it's really slow, but still. Alrighty, great. Good stuff. Let's have you guys get some... Oh, right, we didn't get any rest. Um, let's go for the rest. Come on, give me that rest. Give me the rest! Fuck you, game! Well, this is not good because they're all in front of me. Ugh, oh, good god almighty. You guys reload and walk, huh? Oh, grabbers. They'll be grabbing Jenny here pretty soon. Jenny, you good to go? Grab the other grabber as well. I mean, not grab him, literally. Oh, good, good, good miss. Very ideal situation for you to miss that. Very good. Why don't you try it again? You know, with a pregnant child missing. Very ideal for surviving. Uh, Mike will get a shot off over here. Nice. Jenny, let's try this again, huh? Thank you. Reload, reload. Back you go, back you go. As long as they reload in time and get those shots off, I don't think we have to get uh, Mark involved in any combat here. Ha 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 ha! Aha! Uh -huh. You're a funny game sometimes, game. You're a relatively funny game. Try it again, guys, huh? Up here, preferably, where you're being attacked at. Oh, I took some damage with Mark. That's all on you guys! Mark took damage because of you imbeciles up here missing in unison, mind you. Mark, please, come on. I know... I know you're, you're tired and everything. Rifle bullets. Old shotgun, duct tapes, and nails. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this and this. Give you the old shotgun. Alrighty. You know what? This is actually really fucking silly at this point, so let me just have you reload. Jenny should be reloaded already, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is very silly at this point. So, um, let's get some food, and I'll try to, you know, get you guys some rest afterwards. But I can't have two debuffs here happening in one fight. This is fucking comical at this point. What is this shit? Just get some rest! Ah, this is, this is where this game annoys the piss out of me. Now, you're wondering, Falcon, why don't you just run away? You could do that. However, if you try to run away, you have a chance of losing equipment or group members entirely. So, never a good thing to run as long as you can hold on to the fight. If you feel like you're going to be a losing battle, then you definitely might want to risk it. But otherwise, don't do it. Because if you lose a person altogether, you lose that person altogether. Not coming back. <sighs> Falcon's getting upset. Oh, 
I mean, I know they're missing because of the, you know, tired debuff. I get that. The fucking problem is I'm trying to get some rest, but obviously the game is saying, no, I... Oh, yeah, you have shot him, blast through. Walk back. I'm trying to avoid combat for you, Mark, believe me. Unfortunately, we have this couple over here that apparently want you dead. I mean, this is a really good way for me to get items. I mean, I won't deny that, but I'm not looking to grind. I'm not looking for the grind. Should I try this one more time, or should we just try to rest on the road? I don't even know. I don't trust this anymore. Let me give one more try here. Please, let me get some rest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a return on March of the Living, huh? Oh, you know that game about RNG? Yeah, well, that's exactly what I meant about RNG. Why are you guys moving by yourselves? Stop that, it's creepy. Alrighty. Oh, look, they're hungry again. Oh, big surprise. Eat. Just eat and... Eh, let's, let's just wait. I'll feed you guys soon. Uh, no more scavengers. Let's leave. I, I hate this place now. Map. Uh, we have our supply drop over here, right? This will be a long walk. I will feed you soon. Sensing movement ahead, you drop down by the side of the road, hit him from view, you peek out, and while your instincts were correct, what you find was not what you were expecting. An ungainly man dressed in priest garb is stumbling down the road in your direction. Wave to the priest to try and get his attention or stay hidden. He's stumbling down the road, what if he's a Zambro? He's like a zombie priest. Deciding that a priest could not possibly do any harm, you stand up and walk over to him and he waves at you. Ah, uh, already alone, you're telling me something bad's gonna happen with that sentence right there. Hello there, child. His genuine smile turns out to a slight worried frown as he pats himself down. Oh dear, I seem to have lost my comedian set. Perhaps I'd lost it over in that stream, his voice and mind trail off. You notice he is clutching at his thigh and that his breathing is somewhat labored. Oh, uh-oh. Ask about the wound he is hiding. He might turn at any time and endanger someone, attack the priest, or leave. Let's ask about the wound. Oh, this? Tis but the flesh wound. Don't worry about me. You aren't terribly convinced he is truly speaking what he is on his mind, but you don't feel like pushing further. You quietly bid him farewell and leave the priest to his fate. Yeah, it's probably the best one. I don't want to kill him, but, um, you know, I don't want him around me either. Alrighty, guys, you know what? I think it is time for us to wrap it up here. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will try to get a couple more episodes out here for you. We'll see how we play out, because I have a lot of stuff happening on the channel at the moment. This was kind of like an impromptu email out of nowhere, so it kind of um, threw my schedule into a bit of a flux here. So we'll see how this figures um, this figures out going forward. If you want to see some more, do let me know, and I'll try to do a whole run. But if not, I might just do a couple of videos, and then we'll probably wrap it up. We'll see. Let me know how you're feeling about it. I will catch you next time.